Iron Harvest is an alternative take on the history of the 1920s. Taking inspiration from this time of industrial change, Iron Harvest's fictional states and characters find themselves in the aftermath of the Great War. Huge diesel-fueled machines invented to serve humanity have only lifted warfare to another level. And mankind has had to realize that the war that was supposed to end all wars has ended nothing. The Empire of Saxony is located right in the heart of Europe. As a modern industrial superpower with great national pride, many Saxonians are unhappy with the current politics of their emperor, Kaiser Friedrich. He has agreed on a truce with his cousin, Tsar Nicholas, and is working towards a peace treaty. Many Saxonian aristocrats and military leaders feel this treaty robs them of a hard-won victory. Once upon a time, deep in the old rainy forests of Saxony, Saxonian engineers created frightening war machines and named them after creatures of dark fairy tales. Their technologically superior and cruelly efficient creations inspired shock and awe in everyone who met them on the battlefield. Meet the SLL-33 L. Koenig. He drew his name from a creepy Saxonian poem of a rider in the dark, haunted by this fierce creature. Representing the most powerful artillery unit of its time, the massive construct is not in a rush to get into firing position. With the knowledge of its superior firing range, it resoundingly delivers one of the biggest shells in the game, right to the heart of the enemy. When the fog of war hides the enemy, another wonder of Saxonian technology might save the day. Flares, bright as the sun, reveal everything, no matter how much it might want to stay undiscovered. Which comes in handy for the next fearsome beast, the PKP-17 Eisenhans. Like in the eponymous legend of a gruesome titan, the massive exoskeleton gives these troopers a scary appearance. The huge, stomping giants carry two mortars on their back. After getting into firing position, the barrels are able to deliver salvo after salvo of high explosive mortar shells that devastate a wide area. And even in close range, nobody is safe. Their massive build allows them to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with enemy mechs. Like in many Saxonian fables, the MWF-28 Stiefmutter is the source of great suffering. The weaponless appearance of this machine might confuse unseasoned soldiers until, suddenly, it releases a horde of highly explosive monowheels. They lock on their target and will not give up until they dispense their devastating package upon their desired victim. They are notorious for their clean sweeps in the trenches of the Great War. Gunther von Duisburg is a highly decorated veteran of many battles, a close friend to the Kaiser himself. Equipped with his unique battle mech, Brunhilde, named after the beloved wife of one of Saxony's biggest heroes, his presence on the battlefield alone has turned the tide more than once. If that isn't enough, broadside after broadside of cannon fire and precise long-range mortar attack will do the trick. Without Brunhilde's protection, Gunther is still a threat to any enemy of the Empire. He uses a large caliber hand cannon and his mechanically enhanced blade arm to fight both infantry and mechs. By his side are his two inseparable companions, the dire wolves Tug and Nacht, silent and deadly scouts. Saxony, the once proud and strong empire, is shaken to its very foundation. The old Kaiser fights against the fall of his Reich, besieged by enemies to the east and from within. Secret forces see an opportunity to topple the monarchy and seize power. A battle for the soul of Saxony and the future of Europe begins.